Hello, have you ever looked at a couple and wondered what exactly puts them together or why they are so passionate about each other? Well, here on Why We Tie The Note, we are going to listen to stories, exciting and lovely stories of people who have come together and they have decided to exchange their vows. Welcome to Why We Tie The Note, only on MN Arts Africa, where you get value for both your time and money. My name is Moke Nyakundi. Lucy, at this point, you mm. uh, hospital because at some point you went to Kenya. Yeah, from Radiant mm. to Kiambu Hospital, running tests. Ndege ina pizza. Yeah. Ina pizza. In in Kenya ta for for almost two months. Imagine. Mm. So ulitoka Kiambu, kuna test wamefanya at this point wamekuwa They have done tests. Nothing. 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 Everything Nothing. is okay. Yeah. Lakini damu haisimani kwa mimi. Mm-hmm. So umeenda Kenya ta. Kenya ta walipokea hadi walipokea kama mgoni wa kitu kitu gani? The report I had from Kiambu and many other hospitals, there was nothing in particular. Low blood, cause, question mark. Cause, question mark. Yeah. Blood no one knows the cause. Yeah. yeah, the platelets, the, the, cell, the, the red cell, every, everything is down, 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 down. So, you can see platelets. Yes, yes, yes. So platelets ndio zilikuwa more expensive. Mm. Yeah. After how many transfusions ndio ulianza kuwekewa platelets? I can't really t- they were many I'm telling you. Wakafika mm. wakaona sasa we have to kuwekea platelets yeah. mm. And actually they were not like sustaining. You know ukiwekewa eh ju mwili bado inajaribu ku balance. Unapata hata zimekuwa used zimeisha haraka sana. How I survived that? Mm. We should ask God. <laughs> God knows. That question. Mm. That question ask God. <laughs> that question ask God. <laughs> that question ask God. <laughs> it was a hard one. Yeah. How how my immunity was holding? How you never got infection? Imagine so remember you never reported. I I just had fevers on and off. This mm. now you at that point at that point COVID ilikoni it's Imagine, high peak COVID was and in hospital people were dying actually people were getting infected people i knew mm-hmm. bedmates many dying yes community iko chini yes now ulimekwa kwa room you can imagine ya watu wenye mko na similar similar blood issues eh? yes mm-hmm. the immunity down many were dying So Kiambu yet meet you for home. I think it was two weeks. Two weeks in Kiambu. Somebody died. Yes. Kiambu. People actually. Never <laughs> died. Uka transfer you kwenda Kenya ta. Yeah. Uka transfer wende ufanyiwe nini? I was in Kenya I was to go see a specialist. A blood specialist. And uh, after Eh yeah, pia kufanya test still in question mark. So ndo akaniambia you need you should go get admitted a, a place I'll be watching you through. Now you can imagine. The specialist had uh, his own hospital. Yeah. So he's not exactly a uh, is not concentrated. Okay, okay, yeah. mm, si doctor. Si daktari wa kinyata. Mm. But sasa uko admitted huko anakuja anakuangalia. Yeah. In time ya covid not everybody can come visit you. True. Yes. Given your condition again. Yes. Mm. I'm, 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 COVID. Yes, I'm all alone in, in a hospital bed. Mm. Low blood counts. Unagoja transfusion with all, with, all, with the headaches and all those. Mtu damu kiteremka mwili na riaa. Yeah. Very badly. Living on transfusions. Yeah. Who could charge? Who 
mkitana wanakuja in fact it was like a weekly affair a weekly <laughs> every every friday you have to call for you have to call for donors so unapata so for any test for any test to run there has to be an additional pint of blood platelets for any test to run, to run. so it was that serious she could not she, she could not be done any test without because abu nona like for instance the platelets anger who see how bleed because yeah, abu yeah, yeah, bleed yeah. you will bleed out and you know so lucy was not supposed to get cuts yeah yeah so usi pike kuna kisu jikoni usi jikware usi jigonge that is delicate mm. so you are in kenyata you are admitted you are all alone na mm. wili uko huku you have a job at mm. this point mm. na when your contact place ya home yeah, yeah. na when your contact place ya pasi kama uh-huh, exactly we na hajamwacha kesia <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Ana damu na hajamwacha. Acha mm. huku nje. Watu wanaacha na juu ya blue tick. Yeah. Yeah, ni blue tick two days. Mm, you you go there. Eh? Mm. Hapa you see Hana damu. Mwenzake hajamwacha. Mm. Eh blood transfusion bills zina run high. Yeah. By the way how did you take care of the bills? Mm, I had in HIF. Not in HIF. And till You know the tests were quite expensive. They are trying this, they are trying that. Friends came through. Yeah, we had friends. At least God was with us. Mm. You never know. Mm. Our pacifier our, our, our pacifier came through mm. yes, like very much. he's stood came. big time mm. and his friends as well. Mm. Friends were church pia. Mm-hmm. People would like they are just chipping in. Kasabu na jo as for us we had exhausted the savings for the plan actually imagine our savings savings yes, yes, savings savings is a wedding and it look out to my plan actually my salary was yote yeah, and I, I, I thank god I, my boss was understanding still mm-hmm. my boss right now aku ni nyanganya kazi kunifuta kazi. Yeah. Bado nilikuwa tu mshare yangu ilikuwa inaingia the world. Inaenda hospitali. Yeah. Inaingia tu kama imeenda hospitali. Yeah, inaenda tu kosi. In fact salary salary is that they are for hospital. <laughs> for how long? By the way, you can say it was uh, from August it ilienda like it may take okay up to up to currently where we are like the the bigger part of it ilichukua a year and a half where it was consuming a lot mm. it took a year and a half a year and a half yeah man it was a transfusion to yeah transfusion transfusion to let me medication medication mm-hmm. like she was on check like wezim wezim wachilia mm-hmm. yeah sasa amekuja home na kumbuka kumefunguliwa we are now back to church eh? mm-hmm. and you uh, see here her body had begun showing Mm. Her body had begun showing what was going on. Mara ya kwanza she was okay. Yeah. But um, when now we came back after covid looking at her her eyes uh-huh. were blood shots uh-huh. and then mwili yake ilikuwa imebadilika. Ilikuwa imebadilika. She was she was having a body that is very different from different from what we knew. Yeah. So na mwili atatoroka. And God is faithful. Imagine all along mm. tulikuwa tunatumia loose same now what we alikuwa na covid ju tunge actually mera ni what covid test kama i don't know how many times every monday they were doing covid test on you yes and it, that thing is disgusting so monday they do the tests during the week you see them with those mangoes mm-hmm. coming to, to to bring the results probably you've been having fevers uko pale unashtuka ama niko na ama kukwaje imagine god sustained me oh kwa kupata covid na nilikuwa hospitali hiyo ni kenyata sasa yeah. kenyata alikaa for how long almost two months almost two months imagine we without a break without huh? a break uko daily and people day in day out 
people are dying of similar condition yeah. but at least their cases is ilikuwa clear ilikuwa leukemia ilikuwa cancer yeah their yeah, cases, cases were clear mm. yours is not cancerous but mm. nobody knows what it is yeah. but your blood is not there mm. you don't have any other infection mm. what we could at some point when you do a condition i what we could all could do like do at a later stage when she's she's getting healed when she's getting healed yeah. i kept everybody in fact it's only my sister who knew my younger my younger sister nine nilimwambia this is a classified information so nobody should know it you are the only person in meruso jue so that ukiona probably something is not going on well at least i told you mm-hmm. yeah yeah yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, you ever mentioned that you tried telling someone and they told you something Yeah. Remember? Yeah, I remember I I reached out to a, a church friend who happened to be a doctor. So he knows better than I know concerning or uh, since he's in the in the in the in the hospital in the medic sector, he's better place to advise me. But at that moment when nilienda nikamwambia kanembe hey, my friend, hiyo condition venye unaniambia you just pack your things and go Oof. like uh yo there is no turning back pack your things and go what is yeah. he say he say no chance yeah he but he, no hope. he literally told me that alinambia eh hey, pale with that condition say easy unafa ko na fikiri another another person and uh, that is that is harsh wacha nichukulie kitu personal wacha nichukulie kitu personal I'm not saying this because maybe she's a lady like her. Mm. But I'm thinking mm. wakati mtu ana sink hivi. Yaani umwache ufikirie another person. Hata mm. sio taking a break. Hapo anakwambia mm. take a break. Hapo anakwambia no, think, yeah, think of another person. Yeah, think of another person. What did you do with me? Ah, uh, I at first nilisikia ni kama I was talking to a mad person. <laughs> Because I had never given throughout that period, I had never given a thought of of even leaving her side. Because I felt of all the people he needed, I knew he has siblings. I know he has his her parents. Mm-hmm. I know I can abasi. I know I can abishte wake. But of all those people, I knew somebody who has to be very close to her. It has to be me. So listening to somebody give me an advice of leaving her at the very moment where she needs me that is that is absurd so in fact that very moment niliachanga kupatia huyo 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 rafiki yangu updates he used to ask me whether how is madam going on kambia ko sawa ko sawa ko sawa like i literally stopped updating him cutting you short as he I even send him the the wedding card. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God is good. Mm. We are talking about a story of not giving up Mm. on the person that God places by your side. Yeah. So the story of Willie and you see there is so much actually words cannot express sure. the kind of frustration they were going through during that time mm. but they did not give up on each other. You know, you see at some point I come and ask on behalf of Willie eh? mm. she should give up. But seeing Willie akiwa hapo it gives them the energy to to continue. And this mm. is the God like kind of uh, love we are talking about. Mm. We are not saying We are not saying that in a relationship people should suffer mm-hmm. but we are, we are saying that uh, if trouble comes your way in a relationship you should be able to withstand this trouble. You know kitu inafanya people are saying love is a scam out here because mm-hmm. kitu kidogo watu washaondoka kitu kidogo watu mshajipa shughuli. Mm-hmm. So inafanya mtu anaona why should I believe in love? But yeah. we are here to say that it still mm-hmm. exists the way God wants it to be. Yeah, yeah. These two are a living testimony. Sure. So you see hakuna mtu amegive up on you boyfriend ako pasi ako your parents are there 
Mrs. Pastor Ako. Yeah. Very strong support. The church is not giving up on you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So literally, God has not given up on you. Mm-hmm. So Lucy and Kamal, number one, I must admit, really, Lucy is very, very strong. He kitu ali face na ile intensity ilikuwa na kuja nayo. Sure, sure. Actually, personally, I was drawing a lot of strength from her. Mm-hmm. Okay, I knew it would be well. Mm-hmm. But niki muangalia tu ile style and I face head on it. You know, she was facing it head on it. Wow, Lucy is strong. But again, she really had a strong support system. Nobody is giving up on her. Mm-hmm. And um, we are here. Transfusions, salary, naenda. Mm-hmm. You're visiting doctors. At what point do you lead you are in? Number one, how many cancer tests did you do? I think um, five. Five yes. cancer tests. Yani, wanafanya tena wana run, tena wana run. Mm. And God is insisting this it's is not, not that. It's Actually, not. they were. Imagine, you know, to some extent. Okay, I love doctors, but to some extent, they they discuss probably thinking you are not listening, hearing them. They discuss, they discuss, and you're like, no. and I'm like, no, I said no. This cannot happen to me. This cannot Can be my like case. No, I was not saying anything to them. Mm-hmm. It was an inner discussion. Mm-hmm. This cannot happen to me, and this is not me. Yes, they have their reports. But I have a report from above. Mm-hmm. And I cannot, I cannot give up. And I cannot accept anything that is... But I can't say that. And of course, there are tests in Onyesha, you don't have yeah. cancer. But mm-hmm. wow, wow, they are kind of this, this has to be cut. Yeah, if it, is, it, if it is nothing else, what else then? What else can it be? If of course, Damu Kupotea, the first thing that comes in, in our heads, in it's, our Kongani, yeah, yeah, in our Kongani, in our Kongani, in our Kongani, in our Kongani, So at what point in the Ulipata Dr. Yula Mayan clarify in Kajua now, this is what we are about to So, so, um, at Kenyatta, finally they concluded it was a bone marrow failure. Bone marrow failure? Yes. Mm. It is not cancer, but it may fail. Mm. Yeah, I think Reasons? Na maani damu na hana. Because kuna kushiru wa kutengeneza damu, lakini pia iko inasimama. Iko inasimama. Probably I was, <laughs> probably I was thinking, I was thinking, Uh, you know the body is still active. You know when a part does not stops to work, organic uh, the, the blood is not producing. So we are we are using what is available. And like Kimaliza, we know activities. Kutembea inatumia dam. Actually, ni kama ni kama gari tu. Uki uleju uki yeka apo na kuna activities. I think my foot is tired. As you come and go and feel your sana, but you know the reasoning is quite. And of course, say you go on minimal work. No, just really bad. You go on activities. Minimal work. You have to get to the other activities. So, you know, after that, you know, to make a namuli, namuli now. It's not matching the production. So, you know, after yes, I can actually end the layer, but. Damu ya tengenezi. Self sort ya tengenezi. Bone marrow failure. What's the way forward? <sighs> um, we had to continue with transfusions mm. to sustain you to keep you Yes. Mm-hmm. And on the other hand, we have medication to try and seek a man. to activate the bone marrow. And finally, after taking medication for a while, I don't know what God happened. God happened. The counts started rising. Okay, okay. Yes. Bila tran. And I, the very first time, I couldn't believe. I couldn't believe. Si kwa na amini, ni kwa naona kama si jauna vizuri. Like, it was a very small difference of 
point point a cloud the size <laughs> of the hand of man Thank yes you. just <laughs> point i couldn't mm. believe back by then to be quite shut up kenyata to me and aga kan so to go on a different doctor mm. akani pitishia hiyo process yeye ndo sasa akani pay some medication after a while after waiting taking medication what's the condition called hiyo ya bone marrow failure it was just bone marrow failure mm-hmm. so under medication just taking medication after a while the medication starts working even the doctors are amazed the nurses are going to Lisa hey when was the last confi- the transfusion hey what what did you eat what happened they are amazed but all through i can say it again and again that was god you hai kwa mkono wa mwanadamu yes doctors did the work lakini kazi kuu ilikuwa na Mungu. Mhm. Because at all walikuwa na kuamiza. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Ilikuwa mkono hata daktari alinisikiliza. What happened? Inside me God happened. Mhm. Mm. So damu imeanza kupanda. Yeah. Imetoka afo. Okay, haikuwa afo ilifika mahali sasa unategemea ya kuwekewa. Eh sasa ilikuwa afo. Mm. So idea ni unategemea ya kuwekewa ilikuwa na chungu isipite hiyo fortera eh sipiki ikipita hapo it's a different case mm. in fact aliyeke waikafika di 8 so 8 was like the cut off i is ruhusu ipite hapo 8 teremke chini 8 for was a disaster so you cannot afford to go to a disaster account so 8 was like boyfriend are good you work here when they was here that we did the job and yeah. the collapse eh? yeah. collapsed at work or something mm. eh? Anyway, and um, so damu saa hii iko at 8 na si ya tumefanywa transfusion. Hapana, ikaanza actually it was by then ilikuwa at, kuna kandikuwa nimekea ikafika 10. Sasa wa wakati after probably I think a month. Mm-hmm. Kwenda kuangalia tena it was 10.4. 10.4 na hujafanywa transfusion. Hujafanywa transfusion nothing. So it was like oh my god, something is happening. I wow. I literally right mm-hmm. i couldn't mm-hmm. believe after mm-hmm. after i, I, after I almost I gave up yeah. now when he watch this nothing is yeah. nothing is Blood changing <laughs> yeah because the the platelets having low platelet count is another story all together yeah, yeah, having low count. Mm-hmm. it can make you, you bleed any howly and the doctors were telling me you can bleed any howly and I was like <laughs> ilifika mahali nilikuwa nakaa nasikiza daktari nasikia kalisuri ananipea mtu mwingine si yako and uh, for sure for sure Mungu alikuwa na mimi hata after daktari ananiambia haya wote nilikuwa najiambia to some extent you should not entertain worry yeah. worrying too much things you cannot change just accept this all is happening and uh, yeah some the doctors are telling me that they had truth this was happening and she is kama hali sasa you are in a corner uh the doctors cannot help your parents cannot help your fiance can't help your pastor can't help it is you and your god it is what god decides now It is a case between you and and your God. Ili nilikuwa nimefika hapo na nikasema sasa Mungu I hand over to you now. You know me better. You knew me before I was formed in my mother's womb. Kuna song nilikuwa na naimba. <laughs> Ati umenichora kigajani mwako. Katika hali zote mimi najua huko. Al I still agree with your word. Nitakubaliana na neno hata kukikaa aje. So far as nimeamsi nimeamka. There is enough reason kuendelea na maisha hata kama many other things are not at least I have breath. Many are dead. I can breathe at least. So I have hope for tomorrow. Nikif- I was living day at a time. Day at a time. Leo kumekucha 
I have breath, I can walk, I can eat. That is enough. That is enough reason to celebrate. Yes. So you're here, doctors have scared you. You're here, doctors have scared you. All they can. You know, they are not, their intention is not to scare you. They are laying facts on the table. Mm. In your hand now. Yeah. These are the possibilities. So wakikwambia you don't have platelets, be careful, usikatwe. Na pia wakona kwambia you can even start bleeding bullet work. Yes. We? Anyway, so... It I met a boyfriend ako. Fiance sasa. Actually, he was my biggest, biggest supporting sister. I had reasons to fight. Jua ako? Yes. Sasa ukikufa sasa. I have some... I have to fight, like, I have to fight. I have someone who loves me for, for, for sure, for who, whom I am. Bila fikiri otherwise. Because you have to... Mwili, mwili mechukua shef ingine. Yeah. You don't have blood. I have to, like, hata nikifil kama sina energy. And the same, no, I have to fight. I have to be strong. He was my biggest supporting system. I did your emotional support. Mm -hmm. Finding someone you can talk to. Actually, if you point, you can talk to They're asking you questions. You don't, you don't have answers. Mm -hmm. But, kuna kati nge feel, you are frustrated. Nge mwongelesha. And nge feel, hey, who you say? Hey, who you say is strong? Yani, yani, in expect, Anza kuniambia wa tutadu, we, anza kuniambia uwe. Ya yeah, alikuwa naniambia, ah, usijali, this and, uh, alikuwa nani-encourage. Sawa. Ah, everything will go, be Kuna fine. And I'm like, nasema inyeme, itakuwa sawa. Kama anaona hivyo, nasema itakuwa sawa. Ya yeah, remember, eh, nilikuwa tu nimesema, sikuulizi kitu, nilikuwa na uliza wili. Bede wili was answering so many questions of your behalf. Watu wakua na kuungelesha ya wata. Every time I would remember to see in prayer, I would remember to thank God for blood. Condition you see, if any anyway, it is not normal to it's have not. blood running in your veins. Yeah. In either two or more, and there is nothing you can, you can do. You know, to some extent, <laughs> hey, this is funny. Nilikuwa na angalia apa job kuna enda wazimu na kujanga kuchukua nini? Is a mustaf. Wakati mwingine nikiangalia hiyo mwenda wazimu na jeni jiangalia ni sema si hata yule yule mwenda wazimu my friend ako na damu ako na kila kitu mimi niko hapa hadi sasa najiuliza kwa nini lazima hii kitu itawaisha ama ni nini because umetoka kufanywa blood transfusion na utaki kukaa home no 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 i didn't allow si alikuwa anatoka hospitali imagine imagine nimetoka hosi on on probably on a sunday Monday ni kwa job, hibaya sana. That's why that's you get time to think mm. of that mad person is better than that. <laughs> <laughs> you just there seriously sitting down mm. and silently thinking crazy. Hmm? Adi unajuris, ata hivi, yule, yule mwenda wazima naeza kimbia mbio, wewe uwezi kimbia mbio, wewe. Mm. Uta wangukia pane, wewe. <laughs> and let me tell you for sure, usuwa us, hii rusu ushetani ya ku akupea whispers you mm. you will see yourself worthless useless and that is the aim of the devil he comes to uh, still kill and destroy that is the aim of the devil but here on the other side there is god mm. there is a god, there is god who has a great plan for la, for us ara mm. tukikosa kuiona it is there even when it is not tangible I remember God is faithful, let me tell you. God is really faithful. Ata wakati nilikuwa naona hakuna, hakuna ho, hakuna, hakuna, kama hakuna kitu inendelea. Mungu ange, ange kuja tu in his own way. Ange drop to word. Either I used to listen to Hope FM and Truth FM. Wakati nilikuwa naona nime, nime mawazink sana, nilikuwa naeka earphones. Naeka full blast. Naeka Hope FM ama... Jew, I knew the word of God. The word of God is alive and active. It is 
sharper than double-edged sword. It cuts across. Ina, 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 it is funny how the presence of God turns a soul. Inakubadilisha from one state to another within a twinkle of, of an eye. Inakubadilisha mood, inakubadilisha mentality, inakutan to. So I would advise, it is a general advice to everyone because we are Christians and we face issues. It is very, very important. Don't give in to, to the devil's whispers. Just stick to the word, even when things are not working. They may not work right now, but everything will turn around and you'll be amazed. Saina kuna katina kanga hivi na juliza ni mimi nilipitia hayo ama ni mtu mwingine. The grace of God was very sufficient. Actually nowadays I usually take mercy. Mercy is not for sinners actually. We usually see mercy as it, it, it is renewed every morning. It is not for sinners. Nina ema tu ni huruma tu kani kila asubuhi anakuamsha kila asubuhi anaku sustain si kwa sababu ya ni mzuri sana nikiwa hospitali every time nikiamka nilikuwa naona tu ni Mungu tu ni Mungu tu angeweza kunifikisha siku kama ya leo siku nyingine ikifika ni Mungu tu angeweza kuniamsha i literally learned to appreciate even the little wakati mwingine naamkanga i'm in good shape i'm in good health I look at my hands, I have enough blood. I've, I've got no headaches, I can, I can run, I can walk, and I'm so, so grateful for only that. Adi wakati mingine, probably, uneza pato wana ka headache ama ka homa ama ka misfortune mahali ama something that is not right, probably. I usually find myself thanking God. Inaka foolish, lakini, yeah. Even in that, yeah, I usually see life in a different angle. Even when things are not working, I know they are not working right now, but in the future they will. Mm-hmm. The future may be tomorrow. Nothing is permanent. Akuna shida permanent. It may take a while, but finally it will turn around for your good. Mm-hmm. And you will see it. Nilikuwa nasikia watu wakiniambia. Many people preached to me and I was like, now what are you telling? I know the Bible. <laughs> because of course, you know the Bible. I have been reading the word of God. Mm-hmm. What are you trying to tell me? It thinks all things are working together for good. How? But imagine I came to, to, to see that. It is true. Everything works together for good. Today that I, that I believe in God. Mm-hmm. It is turning around for our own good. We may, when you're going through issues, you may not see it. But finally, finally, you will come to see it. Mm-hmm. Very tangible, very present. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Yes, yes. What's the name of that doctor? Yeah. What's the name of that doctor? Oh, she's Dr. Anne Mwiregi. Anne Mwiregi. That doctor is really so so good. Mm. Mm. Dr. Anne Dr. Anne that doctor really encouraged me. Mm-hmm. Uyu ali tembea na mimi wakati madaktari wengine wangeona impossible. Kuna wakati singefanywa test ya bone marrow kwa sababu the platelets are down. So they can't always ni kuza na sindano yeye ni sindano pia. Because I'll bleed. So what they did the, do- the doctor was telling me no, come, I will risk, I will do that test. I will do it confidently. Makati damu, tunenendelea transfusion and medication, she's like, you know what, don't worry, it's a matter of few months and this thing will be settled. Mm. And she's very, actually I invited her for the wedding and she was like, oh my God, I'm excited, I'm over the moon. <laughs> actually, she's a very, very good doctor. doctor. Very, very so good. So what was it like? Nile yes. Kukiliwa Mfupa went through those tests. Yes. How many of them? 
almost five. Almost five. Very painful. Very painful. But I'm glad I'm here with full blood. My blood runs 15. In Asamanga, 15 platelets of 150. That is normal. My white cell, Akuna Homa, and Anini, I'm just normal. So this is 2021. Yeah. 2021, you need to give medication. Yeah. Around March. Around March. So, Kapul through medication, it lasts for how long? It was how long? Med the first the first part of the medication was to take six months. Six months. Yeah. So that was up to up to September. September. Yeah. Nadam yako imefika ten point four which month? April or something? When was that? I can't it really was, remember very much. It was around it was around it was around June. June. Yeah. So say you can put a balance. Yeah, Ilianza kupata balance. Kwa sabu, the first medication alikuwa na it was a very strong dose. Mm. That uh, ilikuwa, i, ilikuwa i work after three months. Mm. So June, now it marked the turnaround. Mm. Kumba, at least deka point four in as a year. Year to point four. Well, that's a lot. <laughs> well, yeah. 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 A lot of us, mm. sir, uh, after six months, damiake. Now, like say now, uh March last year mm. to say December. Mm. When did you at what point did you stop having transfusions? Uh, it was when was when the blood when, when the count started rising of course. Mm. That is when Aliaza that, so that, that, that June that June. That June. Your story Liaza. Story ah, story. Story. So so from from 20 August, sorry. Yeah. To 2021, June. Mm -hmm. It was a weekly affair. Yeah, it was a weekly affair. Mm. <laughs> plus blood, blood platelets. Platelets, actually, they are very expensive. One mm -hmm. bag, 45k. 45k? Mm -hmm. After a week? Trans yeah, two weeks, one week. Two weeks, one week. Hey, we have some very dear friends. <laughs> like, when you get a Jua, what attack up with anonymous, but uh, they mm, really, mm, mm. they really stood with us. The love is real. Being mm, a Christian is a, yes, good, it's a good thing. thing. Having belonging, a church where you belong is a good, good thing. thing, you know. Yeah. And having parents who also know God. Yeah. And <laughs> so, to me, Fika, Damiaki, Kosawa, mm -hmm. we are in 20. Now, we, are, we are now heading to 2022. See, to go 2021. To go 2021, yeah. mm. uh, you are not taking medication. Which month is this? When was that? Uh, six months later, September. Say around November. November 2020. 2021. 2021. Yeah. No. Alikuwa me. November 2021, Madame Mimaliza Sasa. Now the checkups. Checkups. Madame Wiko Sawa. There is nothing wrong about it. So, at least the same kama Nikazi as Shetani, Likua, Mama Likua Nini. Whichever, whichever the skin. All we know God, that God, God will glorify me. Showed up. God will be showed up. Wow. And uh, Sasa. Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> 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 yeah, to look at me. And uh, the disease has come. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it has taken like two years. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's only been two years. Yeah. One and a half. Yeah, it's like the two years at a standstill. At a standstill. Mm -hmm. Willie had a wandoka. Lucy had a... Of course, some game more challenging about that. I could have been game more. And uh, we are here. You've gone through it all. The mm. tests, mm. the tension. So mm. we leave mm. all through. We could not do that. I could not manage to picture. At, at no point. Okay, Even in my wildest thoughts, God gave me. God gave me that peace. I think the best gift God gave me throughout that period is that peace. Jesus, I remember, I was in a pit and I 
ati i can be the storm to be peace mm. can be a peace be still mm. so even me now that he could not talk to the storm ali ni address me when i can be a peace be still and know that i am god mm. so nilitulia na nika relax and i only knew that he is god so when i knew that now nikamwangalia from the recovery point of it si kumwangalia through the process of recovery nilimwangalia from the recovery point of it mm. so nilijua hata i used to tell her nilikuwa namwambia it's just a matter of time but soon it tutakuwa tunaipiga kama story na ndio hii na ndio hii tunaipiga kama story a testimony a, a big testimony. one a very big one a very big one yeah. and uh, deep in my mind nilikuwa nishajua nothing will shatter the plans that i have with her wow. nothing will shatter that so hata wow. kama itataka kuchukua the whole of that year in 40 years nilijua tu as long as we are done with that process we embark on the assignment mm-hmm. the assignment was for us to get married you don't give the devil a win no yeah you don't in every in every vibe usiwai tikeru shetani ashinde kwa nini unampea hiyo privilege fight until you win mm-hmm. that is a spirit battles are there but they are there to be won mm-hmm. wow yeah battles are there but they are there to be won yes mm-hmm. and you guys won mm-hmm and just an advice to a person who is standing next to your fiance whom yeah an advice to a person who is who is there probably unaweza kufikiria wewe umejiweka but god has placed you there probably you need millions for you to be a steward but you don't need millions for you to be a steward you just need a person You don't need a church for you to be a steward of that church. God is so much interested in a family. So for us we were looking forward to start a family and how else can you be trusted as a steward if you cannot take care of the person you say you love. In fact the Bible says how can you say you love me yet you cannot love the person your neighbor whom you see. So if If you say you love your fiance, you love that person whom you you've you've boldly declared it out. And uh you cannot make it practical. Like you cannot just like Jesus did. Not that we called for him. He came. So you also have to go out and reach out and stand to that position. Kamba he or she does not have to call for you to come and fill that gap you feel that gap unajituma unajituma unajiambia baby i'm going to be there for you whether you like it or not whether you feel it sounds right or not unambia baby i'm going to be there for you we are going to walk this journey till the end and when you do that mungu anakupatia ngatuka strength kenye others might see like you are drowning you are not like au sound normal but wewe mwenyewe ushajua ushajua kwamba am this na Mungu ashani ashio kwamba there is victory wow. and that is why after that after hiyo after hiyo face ya medication we are back on the journey and mm-hmm. here it is mm-hmm. so this is one couple that has gone through their own um, kind of storms mm-hmm. i know couples out there go through stuff and as young people so in the our the people around us our you come and serious ama mko serious ni wawili ndio mnajua kule mke so when the storms come you're not exceptional mm-hmm. uh, their story is a, is a duplication of very many other stories out there mm-hmm. it's just that maybe the challenge is different, yes, different. zingine ni life threatening yeah. zingine zinaweza kuonyesha maybe the person you have the peace of god that mm-hmm. this is the person you should uh, mm-hmm. make a home with yeah. lakini the devil anapita mahali maybe inakuwa mm-hmm. sio mtu anakuwa victim anakuwa ni kama yeah. yeye ndio si mzuri mm-hmm. or the way you are looking at them or the people around you are Are, 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 are talking against that person or something so just identify if if you have the peace of god that this is the direction you should go mm-hmm. stand by it sure. stand by it it's not easy mm-hmm. but i think ukiwa na the voice of god knowing that you're doing the right thing mm-hmm. then inakuwa inakuwa, inakuwa easy. Easy, yeah. because your doctor friend could not 
see her healing mm. but where we go right yeah. because there is the inner is the mm. inner peace you know? mm. so i just hope that uh, this story is a uh, is a blessing to people out there remember this is mm africa where you get value for both your time and money on the program why we tie the knot and we've known why these two are tying the knot because they have been through it all together as in they can trust each other with yeah, sure. the future because they have seen what they can do with the past that they have had you know ebu ambia we see ile kitu we learn through your process ile kitu yani mzuri we learn through your process ile kitu 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 mzuri we learn through your process ile kitu yani utabeba hadi uzeeni yeah kuna kitu ni learn okay one that is that is when i i came to terms with her strength i think i thought she was strong but until as an occasion that demanded her strength came and that is when i said hey i have a strong woman i have a strong woman i have a strong woman who who believes in me unajua she was the one in need but i believe kwamba chenye namwambia nikimwambia it's gonna work she literally believed that hako any issue she was busy thinking on my behalf but nilimwambia you don't have to think on my behalf i have my mind to do that so we were jo kwamba we are working in this so she's very strong she's very courageous but she never broke down throughout that period mm, and uh, that shows me kwamba i have a wife i have a wife who is whom I can entrust on matters and you know she has the capability to handle them kama ali deal na that situation i know that even me as a person i'm safe with her yeah so however much he sees me as his source of security i also see her as a security no no and for that i just love you so much I don't know how many times I think probably you are getting used to this until you know ah, I know you yeah, don't you have know. to tell me <laughs> <laughs> Yeah but I always insist until you get tired of hearing it until you are like okay be singing in the morning that you love me in the evening that you love me ukirudi hata wakati tunachokozana I believe you napendanga kumchokoza sana anajua hivyo anataka kumirritate kidogo so that whenever i tell her i love her anaona by the way you messed me up so you have to apologize and tell me that you love me so that hiyo <laughs> kumwambia i love her inakuwa inakuja na some some kind different vibe unaona yeah but she's a strong woman that i can admit mm. na nampenda mungu sana yeah yes ako kitu tu ambie tu ili hiyo ni yako Okay, I would start by saying um, I will start with God. You know uh, our ways and the ways of God. Hakuna mali zitawaifikiana zinakaa heaven and earth. How we think that is not how God sees things. So we should let God be God. na tumuachie jua naweza tuwili mm. you know true love exists mm. i'm telling you for sure it is tangible hata bila kuambiwa mambo mingi you know mm. love should show through action mm. sio maneno tu i've really seen to love mm. from you and indeed you are a strong supporting system ulinishikilia kabisa emotionally financially everything you you really supported me for sure ara kama ningekuwa na doubts hapo mbeleni that one was a sure bet kama alisimama na mimi through all those uh, challenging times how about the future mm. 
I am sure I have a person who really cares. Yes, I love you so much. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> we thank God for this kind of a love. Mm. Mm. So, after that, we have to go home, we have to go home, we have to go home, we have to go home. So when you go to home, you now told them. Yeah. You told them what she was going through. Exactly. And you told them now she's okay. Yeah, she's okay. Now they knew why you hadn't taken yeah, her home for exactly, the exactly. longest time. Yeah. Well, there's work on who okay with that. Yeah, they were okay. Yeah. At first, when they took her, of course, they were engaged. She took her born as How could you tell? How could you not have told us about this? But uh, I think they always respect my decisions. So when I do anger, why I never tell them or why I tell them why, what I tell them. Mm. Mm, so, wakati niliambia. Now the process is on board. Natunenda hadi tamati. They were like, wow. Mm. I know this is a little sensitive. I think uh, we've not given an ear to that. Probably people have raised, but we've not given an ear to that. Yeah, so. And it shall not happen. Amen. Mm. Amen. And of course, both parents are not going to be able to do No, no, no. no. Well, Actually, when I went to, 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 to his home, the mother was like, you know, I've had you for so long, and finally I've met you, and we've been with you even on those trying times. It was like, okay. So, they are for us, and they are happy. And they are happy. So we thank God Arusia Munyalini. Arusia Tunia thirtieth July. Mm-hmm. That is this month. Mm-hmm. We are only fourteen days shy. Fourteen days shy, eh? So anything else you are forgetting, Madam? Of course we are inviting all our friends to our Angalia you camera, yeah. We are inviting all our friends to our big day and uh, so far we thank you for the immense support that you've accorded us during this journey and throughout our journey. And uh, of course to the pillars and builders, to the youth family, and uh, to everyone who has stood with us, our parents, and uh, just everybody. We thank you so much and uh, we just bless God for you and tunajua. The journey ahead of us is awesome and uh, seeing you there, it will be a blessing to us as well. So, and to anyone watching us feeling discouraged, know that love exists. You only have to make the decision to pursue it and stick by it. Uh, a woman of few words. <laughs> 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 yes, Atakama out there, you know, they are remnants. They are good people out there. Mm. Usi categorize, u generalize, useme ya kuna watu. Kuna watu faithful, wakuna mtu ni zasimama na for sure. Mm. He stood with me. Mm. And there are millions out there. So don't give up on love. To love still exists. We are welcoming you to our wedding. That is July 2022. Here at Word of Faith Church, Kiambu, Karibuni Sana. From MN Africa Desk, my name is Moke Nyakundi. This has been Why We Tie the Notes. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe and share. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.